What's up, everyone? I need to make this kind of quick. I need to get dressed for a job orientation here, but uh, I just wanted to give you a main overview of UltraBeat and all that it can do. Um, so let's just get started here. Down at the bottom in your instruments, UltraBeat's down here at the bottom. Um, when you open this up, it's, it's quite confusing. Um, let me just give you the main overview. Um, up at the top here, you have an oscillator, your oscillator one. In the middle, you have a noise oscillator. At the bottom, you have your second oscillator, okay? These three oscillators feed into a center filter. And this filter outputs into a amplifier, which then um, gives you the sound, amplifies your... Um, amplifies whatever you have playing, okay? And over here on the left is all of your samples or instruments, depending on whatever this kick. As you can see up here, the power's on. It's just a, a phase oscillator that's making it sound like a kick. All right. And then what you can do is, as you can see over here on the p left side, there's a piano. Um, if you have a MIDI keyboard connected, you can actually play the the keyboard, and these sounds will play. Let me demonstrate that. Caps lock. All right, there is. You can you can just play along on your keyboard if you want and record that. But um, you're really not using the full potential of Ultra Beat. Um, so let's see. We can at the top here. We can go to this drop down menu, and you have all the drum kits inside of this. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's just go down to Trans Kit One. Um, when you open up a, a kit, there's already a there's already a preset beat made for you. So well, let's just listen to that really quick. We can go down here and press power and play. Very simple. Um, let's see. We can go down here in this click down bar. Um, what we have is at the top. We have all of the, these are all the beats that have been preloaded. They say SQ beside them. Um, let's just go down, oh, I don't know, number eight. Let's just play it real quick, see what it sounds like. Oh. God damn, that's funky. Oh, yeah. All right. So, if we want to see exactly what is going on, we can go in over here, bottom right, there's a button that says full view. And boom! All right, let me play this again, see what, and show you exactly what happens inside of this ultra beat. This bar goes across, and as it hits one of these aqua little dots, um, whatever is in that row, in this case a swift hat, that plays when this bar gets to that note. Okay, and as you go across, you just create this drum beat, and. Um, that's pretty base basically that's all you really need to do. You can come down here, go to one that's not that doesn't have SQ beside it, and just fill in different little dots and you can get your I'm just gonna it's very basic, just show you. Um and then you can just get your beat. Um, I, I didn't even try, but you get it. It just you just fill in and you can just go 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 with it. It's really it's really fun to play with. I just have a friend that comes over and plays with this for hours. It it, it really is fun to play with. So um, if let's just say you don't like I don't know that bass drum, you want a different bass drum. What you can do is you can come um, click out your that view and go back to the normal one. And down here at the bottom in this second oscillator I was talking about, there's a little button that says sample. Sometimes it's on phase oscillator, but you want to make sure that you go to sample and then click this and you can load whatever samples you have on your computer. And quickly I'll just load, um, oh, let's see, I have some samples that I can use. Dang, son. Oh, that's weird. I like that. Oh, wait. Come on. Didn't load. Come on now. Come on. Load something else. Oh, 
O. Was I loading that into hard clap? I must have been. All right. Let's try this again. Load sample into your bass drum. We'll do this one. Open. There you go. Sometimes you need to open up your envelope. And then turn it up a little bit. Your volume is already all the way up on that. Yeah. Come on now. Turn up a little bit more. Okay, you understand. Um, sometimes when you load in samples, your envelope is going to be very small and you're not going to be able to hear your sample. Just make sure you open up your envelope so the whole sample is able to play. Um, besides that, really, um, the only thing that I can see you ever really needing to start out is if you have your bass kicks right here, you can move the velocity up and down. Let me just show you here what happens when you change the velocity. All right. It just just imagine if you're hitting a snare and you have very very low velocity, you're just barely tapping it. And as you increase that velocity, your snare's hitting your your sticks hitting the snare harder and harder until at the very top you're hitting it as hard as you can. All right. Um this is useful for oh, I don't know. If you just want to do like a a snare just like quietly and just like kind of roll in to something, very useful. I've used it many times. Um, besides that, over here you can have your mutes. You have your mute and your solo just like on your mixer. Um, and if you want to, here, I'll show you. This little swing button right here. Um, sometimes it's, it's very cool. I'll play it here. <clears throat> Without any swing, it's just like, it's very, just like, it, you, it's on every beat. It's perfect. If you add a little swing to it, it's... You can hear it a little bit. You can hear it a little bit with the at the beginning. But it it just it just adds a little funk to it, I guess you could say. Um, useful for some songs, not useful for others. I I rarely use it, but um, I should. Sometimes I guess I just forget about it. Um, here in this this view right here, you have four. You have four. Um, four places per measure that you can put um, samples. If you want to make it larger, you can go to 130 seconds down here in the resolution and you have eight places. And if I play it, it just goes twice as fast, all right? And since I need to get going here, um, down here at the pad, down at the bottom, I can drag whatever I made into the regular view and make sure the power's off and exit out of this. And then, there you go. That's all you really need to know about drum ultra beat. You're off to the races. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.